Hey, how's it going? So Dragon Slayer 2 has came out, one of the most iconic quests of 2018 for sure. I know there's going to be raids and whatnot and some other big updates, but this has to be one of the biggest and, you know, quest-wise. I was a tad bit delayed on this video, you know, killing the new boss and whatnot, but I had to put it out there, guys. I'm just going to do a little recap of Dragon Slayer 2 for, you know, like five minutes and I'll, you know, get into the boss and whatnot. And also, guys, leave a like and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want me to do, like, loot from 100, loot from 500, adding rune dragons. And, you know, if you guys are really interested, I might even post a short video tonight killing, like, 50 of each just to test out the drop table, see what it is, because I've been killing them on my alt while I've been making these new potions and uh, killing the boss, doing some other things. They're not too hard, actually. Possibly better gold than the new boss if you don't get a rare drop, you know, like a unique that's worth 70 mil. And, uh, of course, the items are crashing pretty quick, guys. But, you know, I'm after that dragon plate body and the dragon kite shield. And I think the ruin and addy dragons even drop the limbs. So, that'd be, like, some good gold. Because I think the boss just drops a visage and then the new range visage, which is, like, 70 mil. But I'm not sure. Wikipedia hasn't came out with any uh, info yet or anything like that. So, you know, in the in the shortcoming days, I'll be posting more info. And you'll probably be able to find it yourself along with a quest guide, which was very hard. I was actually one of the first people to complete this quest. I don't want to say that. Probably like the first thousand because there were so much people doing it. It was very packed. I was struggling just a bit on the last boss. But besides that, everything went very smooth. And, uh... It's quite fun doing a quest without a guide, it is. It's very frustrating, I'm not much of a quest person, but you know, watching a whole bunch of streams and just being with all the hype, asking questions, you guys can see there's so much people running around. It was totally a blast. If you guys haven't done the quest, I highly recommend it. I really do, the requirements aren't that hard, and I'm sure they're gonna make more content in the future that is uh, geared around Fossil Islands and even this boss in Dragon Slayer 2, so you might want to bust it out while you can, and the hype is there, there's people doing it, you can ask questions, and it's fun, guys. It was a great quest, probably one of the best quests I've done in the last year or two, better than Monkey Madness 2. That quest was a bitch. There was a couple mazes on Monkey Madness 2, and they weren't even fun. They were frustrating and tedious, and you know, the scenery of this quest and the mazes, etc., was uh, much better. Just, just overall, everything, it, it was awesome. So first off, I want to say shout out to Jagex, good job. You know, one of the best quests, like I said, there's so much people. Like, look how active this is, guys. When I hover over, there's like, I don't even know, 100 people. It was so packed, and uh, that makes the quest all, all that much better, guys. If you aren't doing quests and type of hype updates, when it comes out within that 24 hours, you're missing out, because it is so fun, especially like demo mode or something. When everyone, um, you know, everyone's level 3, they spawn in at Lumbridge or Gnome Village, something like that. Seeing everyone just run past you like flocks of people, it's a it's a crazy adrenaline. One thing I messed up on pretty bad was the cat speak amulet, you know, finding Bob. I had a friend actually, you know, on TeamSpeak and he was telling me, dude, just follow the follow the north like sign. And then and then he's like, oh no, wait, you actually gotta follow the white symbol, because all of them are um gray or tan, but there's one white symbol. But it just led me to the end of the map, like literally to the black part of RuneScape. And I was so confused, I asked like 10 people, could not understand it, and then I just asked some random person, and they're like, oh yeah, he's in Taverly. So I went there, and he was there, and I finished that part, yeah, getting the Gowweed, extremely easy. I saw so much people just complaining, like, what the fuck, I've been here for 10 minutes, and I was just sitting there like, ah, no problem. I think I got it with literally 45 seconds probably, it isn't too hard, and especially with everyone else getting hit. You can use them as like shields. <laughs> it was it was fun. That if I could redo any part of the quest like five times over, it would be that. Honestly, there was a lot of hard ass bosses in this quest, and uh, you know I'm not the best PVMer, but I would rank myself up there with like 85% of the game or 90%. You know I don't know where you want to rank me. I have all max. I got like 50 million, 55 million HP XP and then on Slayer and stuff, but yeah guys, I was struggling, like, it was hard, and, um, doing Vorcraft on the quest, it, it was, it was such a bitch, and obviously we've learned Twisted Bow is not the best, which is why it crashed, like, 50 mil, I took a huge hit, guys, huge beating, but yeah, the bossing was fun, definitely something new and, um, different, and I'm sorry, guys, if you're, like, 105 combat, you're gonna have such a hard time, you know, me being pretty experienced and high-ass level, man, it was hard, I died so many times. This part of the quest had me hitting my head 
everyone was saying different like uh, directions because I do think it was different for everyone. I could be wrong on that one. But yeah, I was reading it. I got the two people like very easy. I think it was Robert North and someone South. But after that, I just kept reading it. My brain could not get it. I was sitting there for like 15 minutes just, just taking an L. But you know, either way, I really enjoy quests that have a different uh, aspect to them where there's lots of puzzles and uh, little side like niche things to them that are complicated and especially you know like I said without a quest guide it makes it that much more challenging and confusing because let's be honest you would have just skimmed right through that it wouldn't even been a problem. If you guys have played any games like War of the Warcraft or something like that um, it's really quick kind of fun quest but literally the people tell you go kill 15 of these monsters or go bring me back like 15 linen and it, it's all very, very simple. There's no puzzles or anything in depth at all. And uh, I really like kind of where RuneScape's going with this. I really do. But I feel bad for any new player. Like expecting Dragon Slayer 1 and then going to Dragon Slayer 2. You gotta be crazy. Like it's such... Oh man. I don't even know. It's probably like a 15 fold difference from Elvarg to, to Warcraft. But you know, that, that's where Jagex is going. That's where video games is going with 2018. You know, everything is getting more hard, challenging, we're not young kids. People are using F keys and quick with the mouse, guys. They are quick. You know, you watch some PKers, damn, they, they're, they're into it. This final boss was so freaking hard, man. I died, I died 10 times maybe, at least. And you know, like I said, I had a friend on TeamSpeak, he was, he was struggling as well. I actually um, was using the Twisted Bow, and then I thought I might as well use a regular like Dragon Shield, because I don't want to go buy a DFS. They were crashing. They're like 7 mil right now or something. They might be rising back up. But yeah, the economy is definitely crazy right now. Um, I'm loving it as a mercher, though. I've lost a lot of money, and I've made a lot of money, so it's the best of both worlds. But yeah, back to topic. I was trying to kill the boss, you know, with a Rune Crossbow and a regular Dragon Shield. And it just was not doing work. So I had a friend lend me a Dragon Hunter crossbow, which does 10% more damage to uh, dragons, I believe, accuracy and strength. And I just, I just tore it apart. Like uh, it helps out so much. I think the first couple times I wouldn't even get it to half HP. And I was sitting there just like asking my friend, like, dude, how am I doing this? I have, you know, the rigor prayer, I believe it is, and uh, nine on range, nine on defense. I don't know what was going on. Max gear as well, besides the bow. But yeah, once I switched to the Dragon Hunter crossbow. It, uh, it made a lot easier. I would definitely suggest it. I think it crashed. It was like 30 mil. It's like 23. So if you guys can afford it, go for it. I thought it was kind of cool how there was different waves of dragons and whatnot. You know, you start out with the green, the blue, the red, the brutals. It goes up. Then you got the steel, the mithril. Um, I found that pretty enjoyable. And let's be real. It wasn't too hard to figure out which dragon was going to come next in the cycle. You know, you got the mithril, the adamant, the ruin, etc. I wish the adamant and ruin would have dropped a drop. That would have been so cool for everyone to get just one bone to begin with. And then they could actually kill Warcraft with the potion, etc. I think it would have made it a little bit easier. But then again, bones would have been like 300 to 400k on release. You know, if you were one of the first people like Wooks or something, oh uh, man, he had 20kc like as as i was completing the quest and gearing up for the boss almost he was just murking through it. i don't know how people do stuff so quick guys like i'm telling you i'm not i'm not the best player but i'm pretty damn good you know it just blows my mind on things such as like dead memo when people just do monkey madness even monkey madness 2 and they'll do all these crazy ass quests before i even have like a d skimmy People go so hard on RuneScape nowadays, it's like they don't even sleep, and they're just so quick. Like, Wooks honestly did the quest in two hours without a guide. And, you know, I guess he lives up to his name, man. He, he's really pro at the game. Uh, props to him, man. But yeah, boys, completing the quest was one of the best feelings ever. Like I said, it was such a great feeling. The accomplishment, you know, being one of the one of the top thousand or, you know, a few thousand people in the game to complete it, knowing that so many people were, um, you know, behind me, great feeling. But yeah, looking at this clip right here, guys, whew, selling the Twisted Bow, trying to sell it at least for, um, for very cheap. I lost so much money. And then chucking in the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, losing some money on that as well. One of my favorite spots you unlock is the new guild. Uh, it's so awesome. You know, you can go underground. There's uh, the Rune Rocks, Addy Rocks. There's a whole bunch of dragons, a whole bunch of dragons. I'm talking like 20 to 50 of uh, green dragons, blue dragons, red dragons. And if you guys don't know, this is a big deal to any dragon hunters because green dragons are actually found in this guild and not only in the wildy. So you don't have to actually go and risk your bank. 
you know, go get PK. And I know people don't like doing that. And green dragons are a great money making method for any level like 70, 80, 90, you know, getting into the game. And it's pretty annoying getting PK'd, yet alone skull tricked. Hopefully, none of you guys have gotten skull tricked. Keep that player attack option on hidden, it'll never happen. So, with the completion of the quest, I want to post a lot of videos, but I want to get along to the new boss and try it out. Maybe get, you know, 20 kills, 50 kills. If you guys don't know, Vorcraft can actually be killed on a blue dragon slayer task. So I headed over to Neve. <laughs> I guess I actually headed over to Steve because Neve died a while ago. I miss her. I don't even like Steve. But yeah, guys, I wasted a thousand points. One thousand points in five minutes. Just blown like that. I didn't get any blue dragon task, but I got like, what, ten steel dragon tasks almost. I was so, so bummed. And uh, I think that's a big problem of why I personally was struggling so much on the boss. Like, it was hard no matter what. But if you didn't get a task, that's 15% range, damage, and accuracy. And then the dewar hammer hitting, it just adds a lot more. So I would highly recommend, uh, you know, a blue dragon task. Especially if you're not 120 plus combat, you're going to struggle so hard. And the bones are like 18k or like 20k right now. So they're not as much as they used to be. It's not even that good of gold unless you get a rare drop. But either way, guys, a lot of content. And a lot of, you know, just switch up new bosses of the game. It's always great. It spreads out all of the other bosses and makes the prices go up, actually. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, guys, it was a lot harder than I thought, though. I was watching Bodhi and whatnot. And even Bodhi, guys, he's pro as fuck, but he died, like, 30 times. And, um, basically, there's only two ways to kill it. I would, you know, suggest using the blowpipe, of course. It's self-explanatory. Like, you just stand there. Except when, uh, it shoots, it's, like, acid lava machine gun bullets you guys might have seen it. it's crazy it is insane and you either run around and don't get hit at all and it's really hard to hit the boss because if you hit it once it'll normally hit you or you pull some crazy ass like uh flinch walking and it is very hard to master like if you're a little laggy as well because i was watching a few streams that may have uh added to the problem plus i was just newbie man i was i was stressed out i was nervous and yeah, guys, I died so many times. It was a very hard boss, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and make a loot compilation. And yeah, it should be very juicy. Like I said, guys, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see like 100 kills, 500 kills, 250, I don't even know, of Ruin and Addy Dragons. No one's really done that yet. And that would be, uh, that'd be awesome to see. Plus, I have some other video ideas being posted very soon. I'm excited. You know, any type of new update comes out, especially for content creators. It just gives us so much uh, good vibes, you know? I'm, I'm excited. I love playing RuneScape, man. Oh, yeah. Best game in the world. Oh, man. I'm just rambling now. But, yeah, guys. I'm going to go back to killing the new boss. I had to put this video out very shortly. If you could tell, it was maybe a little rushed. But, yeah. I just I had to get something out. This quest is awesome. And uh, tell me your thoughts. Did you complete the quest? Did you enjoy it? Are you killing the boss? Are you PKing with the new bolts? You know, there's so much, so much updates and so much new items. I love it, man. It's going to be awesome for the merchers as well. Lots of gaps, lots of flips. But yeah, the next week should be pretty fun to test out all these new items and whatnot, especially that new shield. It's not very good, but it looks so badass. The green one, the new Ancient Wyvern shield, the new DFS for range. It looks so cool. I'm going to get my hands on one very shortly. Have a good one, boys. Go kill those dragons. Get those loots. See ya. Drinking old English, rags tied, hang side, on my head.